Welcome to another episode of Mask TV coming to you today from the hyperbaric chamber in the Royal Hobart Hospital. Yes, indeed. <laughs> now, diving in Tasmania is a very popular pursuit, particularly diving on a hooker. Yes. But it is not something that you want to undertake lightly. Diving is big in Tasmania with around 20,000 recreational divers taking to the water each year and of those, as many as 25 will end up here at the hyperbaric chamber in need of treatment. Out of the ones who are sick, uh, the worst cases that we see come from recreational hooker diving and about a third of all divers we treat are recreational hooker divers. A dive compressor, or hooker as it's known, is usually a small petrol motor driving an air pump of some description that feeds air to the diver via a hose. Unlike scuba diving, there's no requirement for a formal qualification and that's one of the major reasons why hooker divers are more likely to get into trouble. Our studies have shown that uh, over a half of those recreational hooker divers don't have any training. They don't understand uh, tables, uh, the length of time you can spend down. Uh, don't realise that if you dip, say, for between uh, 12 metres and you end up at 15 metres instead of 12 metres, it's only three metres extra, but in fact you're only allowed half the dive time at 15 metres that you can dive at 12. The other big problem is the quality of the hooker itself. It may not pump enough air, it may be unreliable, or worse still, it could be actively poisoning you. A lot of the people don't understand uh, air filtration and protecting themselves from carbon monoxide poisoning from the exhaust fumes of the, uh, the motor that's running it. And as a result of that, they can get contaminated air. And in fact, uh, you know, there was a, a dual fatality here about a decade ago where uh, carbon monoxide poisoning killed both divers as a result of exhaust fumes being pumped down to them. And while carbon monoxide poisoning can be fatal, decompression illness caused by staying down too long or coming up too quickly can range in its severity. It really is a spectrum of symptoms ranging from something that's minor aches and pains uh, through to uh, really serious neurological injury where uh, people um, no longer walk again. This is an amazing bit of gear. What it can do is recompress and then decompress a diver to as low as 50 metres below sea level where the pressure is quite enormous. There is uh, a pretty simple rule of thumb for identifying whether you think you may be affected by decompression illness and that is if you feel different either during your dive or after your dive then it's definitely worth seeking advice. So the expert tips for staying out of trouble while hooker diving are get some training. A basic scuba ticket is not expensive and could save your life. Make sure the hooker is well maintained and pumping clean air. Air quality test kits are cheap and simple to use. If something does go wrong, dial triple zero and inform the operator it's a diving incident and that will get you through to the hyperbaric staff at the Royal Hobart Hospital. Anyone who wants to uh, dive with a hooker shouldn't regard it as just a snorkelling expedition and, and I'll just hop on it with my mate. They really need to ask a lot of questions about the safety of it, the mates, uh, how they maintain it and uh, also uh, get some instruction on you know, scuba. It's not something you just do on a weekend and uh, pick it up and go off with your mates and uh, hope for the best. You really need to have some uh, appropriate training.